welcome to my channel and today's video is all about the south african history and the invasion of the cape colony during the 17th to the 18th century witness the greatest migration ever in the south african history okay which is popularly known as the great trek and during that period the Vu trekkers settled okay then later on they discovered diamonds and gold in the soil during the 19th century after they settled on the soil and that changed their fortune changed their financial standing forever okay it changed the financial standing of that region till date following the defeat of the boys in the anglo boys war from the 18th to the 19th century the union of south africa was created as a self-governing dominion of the british empire on the 13th may 1910 the Afrikaners dominated the political and agricultural sector during the 19th century which was the era of the apartheid apartheid means separatedness in the Afrikaans language the African language is the third spoken language in South Africa so they have the likes of Zulu as the most spoken language in South Africa Kosa language are the second most spoken language in South Africa so in South Africa they have approximately 35 languages in South Africa that is being spoken okay and the, the top three are the Zulu the Kosa and the Afrikaans then the fourth most spoken language is the english language so african is more of the 13.5 percent of the population speaks the african language the africans are 3 million out of the population of south africa and they are also an ethnic group the Afrikaners are an ethnic group in South Africa and African is a language being spoken by the Afrikaners so apartheid is a racial segregation and white minority rules that's apartheid okay so the South Africans the black South Africans were minors were deducted from the political and decision-making of South Africa and that's what led to the countless historic armed struggle that we have heard and watched in movies and in documentaries. So this apartheid means separatedness in the Afrikaans language and absolutely unacceptable to the black south african community which led to the agitation and refusal of such inhumane rules set by the colonial masters such as the portuguese and the british after an endless rule and inhumane uh, treatment and arm struggle and terrorism during the apartheid period which ended with an implementation of the apartheid legislature so after an endless struggle to gain freedom from the inhumane colonial treatment received from the colonial masters finally the an end came to the struggle and terrorism in South Africa on the 27th of April 1994 with an implementation of the apartheid legislation 
after which the African National Congress, the ANC, achieved victory in the first ever democratic election. Since then, the African National Congress ruled till date with an alliance with the South African Communist Party, the Congress of South African Union, the National Governing Party, and many more political parties that was uh, established during the democratic early stages of the democracy of South Africa and under the leadership of Nelson Mandela with the African National Congress in alliance with the Inkata Freedom Party, Governing National Party, the South African Communist Party, the South Africa Trade Unions, and many more other alliances, Mandela, under the auspices of the African National Congress, kept the peace and kept ruling from the 1994 election till date south africa is practicing a single party uh, governance after the long and stressful and long negotiations that went on after the apartheid under the auspices of convention for a democratic south africa codesa Convention for a Democratic South Africa. A drafted constitution was published on the 26th of July, 1993, containing the concessions toward all sides, which includes the federal system of regional legislature, equal voting rights for all. As at this point, South Africa, as I said earlier on, has 35 languages being spoken in south africa but they have 11 official languages and unofficial languages so south africa is enriched with great ethnic groups great languages such as the zulu the the kosa the africans english soto and many more this this ethnic group majority can be located under one umbrella which is the bantu they are all from a single root and south africa's current population and these figures were updated just yesterday so they have 59 million 121,905 so that is the the total figure of the South Africans this is the total figure so this figure was censored was put together from the 1950 to 2020 so do your this is like uh, 1950 to 2020 population census this is the population of south africa as of yesterday from the 1950 to 30th march 2020 this is a summary of the south african history and i hope you learned something new from the usual thing that you have been hearing of hope you get you are educated by this brief video that you are watching <laughs> thank you so much for watching i'm here to enlighten i'm here to refresh your memory about africa and today is south african history this is both the origin the pre-apartheid apartheid and post-apartheid history i just put together nothing too stressful because i know you have a whole lot of idea about apartheid so i didn't delve that much into it just give gave you a brief
And did you know South Africa was once called Cape of Storms by DS and DS was the first man to land to 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 visit or to visit South Africa. He was the first I'll call him inquisitive. <laughs> he was the the first man to find his way onto the South African land. Diaz is a great great part of South African history and he named South Africa the Cape of Storms and it was also called the Cape of Good Hope. Good Hope and now it has been changed to the Republic of South Africa. This is quite a brief thing that I just added. Thank you so much for I know you you we, you only know of South Africa, South Africa, but it used to be called the Cape of Storms and the Cape of Good Hope. I'm glad I taught you something new that you had no idea of. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Share, comment, and keep liking. Tell a friend to tell a friend that our African history is still pure, still holds water, and can't be forgotten. It can't be forgotten, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you. And see you in my next video.